Dr. Gabby Corey, and we're at the National Publicity Summit with Steve Wolf. Steve, thank you for being here today. Thank you, Dr. Gabby. And you have such fascinating backgrounds, and we're going to tap into some of your different talents and areas of expertise. All right. But tell me about science. Sure. Well, I work as a movie stunt special effects coordinator. So my job is actually throwing people off roofs, lighting people on fire, crashing cars. Minor things. Little, yeah. And of course I have to make sure no one gets hurt when we're doing this. So the two things I use in my work are science and safety. This allows us to create the effect that they want to see on camera, but also to make sure that no one gets hurt in the process. So I use extensively physics and chemistry as my main two science backgrounds for creating the stunts that kids love to see on the movies. Which are the stunts that are the most interesting to you? I love rigging stunts. That's where you're using ropes and pulleys because I've been in love with pulleys since I was in fourth grade. And uh, I like blowing stuff up. Like literally blowing just cars that, right? up into the air. Yeah. Well, for me, blowing stuff up is just uh, creating a chemical reaction that turns solids or liquids, where the molecules are packed closely together, into gases where the molecules are far apart. And in the process of the molecules flying apart because the new products of the reaction of gases, they push whatever's in their way out of the way. So you create that little chemical reaction, those molecules go flying out, and if your car's in the way, well, it goes flying with it. And how many times do you sometimes have to do this for a movie? Well, if you do it well, you get it right the first time. Really? Yeah. And, and do you ever uh, get it right the first time? Is it common? Time. Really? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Uh, so you have to do a lot of the pre-work to make sure that it gets that's out. That's right. You have to do your homework. So we practice this stuff in advance. We'll set up the stunt off camera. We'll sometimes do this at Stunt Ranch, which is our facility in Austin. And when we've got it right, then we bring it to set, and we don't waste the crew's time. Is there anything that you haven't done yet, but that you kind of foresee that it may start happening next? More stuff. I think there's going to be more integration between real effects and computer-generated effects. Uh, computer-generated effects, at this point, they still take a long time to do, and they still don't really look realistic. But they certainly have their place in blending with real physical effects. So if you can have a person who looks like they're falling off a building, but really they're just tumbling in an air current from a jet engine and they're just a few feet above the ground, and we can put them in front of a green screen, and then put in footage of a, of a camera tilting down a building behind them, we can create the look that someone is falling off that building without having any real danger. How did you get into all of this? Actually, I never got out of it. I'm still doing what I love to do when I was five years old. So oh, wonderful. Setting my cars on fire and crashing little toy trains and uh, lowering my trucks out the window from the 12th story of our apartment. Having more and more fun yeah. with it. Yeah. And uh, my parents encouraged me. That helped. I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah. But it did help a lot. And how can people get a hold of you? I could be reached at Stunt Ranch. They can reach me at steve at stuntranch.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining Thank me. Thank you. My a, pleasure. A lot of fun to be with you. Thank you.